Hey friends, welcome back to another exciting installment of Through the Roof videos. We are glad to have you with us today and we're gonna have an awesome lesson on the prophet Samuel. Samuel is an amazing young man and I hope that you will really enjoy this time together. Let's open with a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we come to you today and ask you to give us open hearts and open minds so we can hear what you would have to say to us today. We pray for your safety. We pray that you will bring us back together soon. We love you, and it's in the name of your son, Jesus, we pray. Amen. All right, get ready for a great lesson. Hi, friends. Miss Liz here. I am so glad to see you this morning. I have missed seeing your faces so much and cannot wait until we get to see each other in real life. But until then, I want to say hi. Hi, friends. Can you say hi, Miss Liz, back? I'm listening. Can you say it a little louder? Say, hi, Miss Liz. Oh, that was so fun. That was really exciting hearing you call out my name. And you know what? Calling out my name actually reminds me a little bit about this week's Bible story. Do you want to read through this week's Bible story with me today? We will in just a second. But first, I need your help. I am trying to learn a little bit of how to do sign language. So I thought maybe today you could help me learn sign language while we learn this week's Bible verse together. Can you help me with that? Okay, I'm going to do it for you once real quick. I'm real nervous. I hope I don't mess up. So this week's Bible verse is Psalm 32, 8. And it says, I will teach you the way to go. Psalm 32, 8. You want to do that with me? We'll do it real slow. I will teach you the way to go. Psalm 32, 8. You want to do it again one more time? Okay. I will teach you the way to go. Psalm 32, 8. Yay, give yourself a hand. That was good. We're going to do that again once more after the lesson. But right now, let's learn about that little boy who heard God calling his name. I've got the picture here. You're used to seeing these in class, these good, colorful pictures. So here's the story. God gave Hannah, this is Hannah right there. God gave Hannah a son. She named him Samuel. Can you find Samuel on there? That's Samuel. Okay, so this is Hannah. This is mom. This is Samuel. When Samuel was older, Hannah took Samuel to the tabernacle to live. The tabernacle was a lot like our church, okay? So Hannah took Samuel to the tabernacle or church to live. When Samuel was there, he helped Eli. This is Eli, the priest. So that's Hannah. There's Samuel. And Samuel is at the tabernacle helping Eli, the priest. Each year, Hannah and her husband went to the tabernacle to worship God just like we go to worship God every Sunday. Hannah made a new robe each year to take Samuel. Samuel grew up in the tabernacle. That's where he lived. He lived there with Eli. Remember Eli, Samuel. So Samuel grew up in the tabernacle, and he learned to serve God at church. We learn to serve God at church a lot too, don't we? Well, one night, the boy, Samuel, heard a voice calling Samuel, you remember a few minutes ago when you called my name out? That was pretty cool. He heard his name, Samuel. Well, Samuel got up and ran down to Eli. But Eli hadn't called him. Eli said, go back and lay down. Three more times the boy heard a voice calling his name, Samuel. Eli understood that God was the one speaking to Samuel. So Eli taught Samuel to listen for God's words. And God was with Samuel as he grew. Samuel grew up and he became a prophet. And he told people what God wanted them to hear. Oh, that was a good story. And we can all listen for God talking to us. He talks to us a lot when we go to church through our Bible stories. He talks to us when we pray to him. And he also talks to us through his Bible verses. So let's practice our Bible verse one more time and then we'll go. Okay, it was Psalm 32, 8. I will teach you the way to go. Psalm 
30 to 8. Bye, friends. See you soon. Hey everyone, it's good to see you again. Wasn't that a great lesson um, with Miss Liz? It was so good to see her face and I thought she did a wonderful job telling us the story of Samuel. Um, she did, it was just really good. I really enjoyed it. Um, and I also enjoyed learning the sign language with the verse. That was a good way to do it. And I am impressed with um, her learning all that so she could share it with you. Um, Today, I'm here with our activity, um, and last week, if you remember, Miss Belen uh, did an activity on listening um, and hearing and using our ears, and I thought that was really fun. So I have a different kind of activity. Um, if you were with us um, when we did the live um, LBS class a few weeks ago on May 31st, we did a little scavenger hunt, and everybody seemed to really enjoy that activity. So I have a scavenger hunt for you today, and it's all about listening. So I thought this would be a fun activity to do um, with your siblings or your mom and dad or even by yourself, um, and you could go on a walk and do it. You could do it inside your house. Um, there's so many ways you can do this, so you can decide how to do it. So I'll send this paper home um, for you to print off, and then um, I just found like a little clipboard at home um, that I could walk around with. And what I'm gonna do is I am gonna listen for the sounds, um, and when I hear those sounds, I'm gonna take my pen, and I am going to check it off. And then once I get all the sounds, I'll be all done. So I think that's a really fun, I know people, it's summertime looking for things to do. Um, so this might fill a few minutes of time. Um, and it's just a good way to practice using your listening ears, um, just like Samuel was listening to God. So let's do a little practice. I'll show you what you can do and then you can go home and do it yourself. So here's the first sound. What does that sound like? That sounds like water to me. So I'm just gonna check it off right there. See, I checked it off that I heard water. Okay, let's do this next one. Ooh, that's loud. I think that is a dog barking. So there's my dog. Check it off. Okay, let's hear this one. That sounds like a bird singing to me, so I'm gonna check off the bird like that. Okay, last one. I'm not gonna do them all for you, but I just wanted to show you um, what you could do. That sounds like a noise I'm hearing a lot lately. Um, and that is the lawn mower. You hear a lot of people mowing and taking care of their lawns during the summertime. I hear it all day long in my neighborhood. Well, thanks for doing that activity with me. I hope you enjoy doing it at home and seeing what you can listen or um, find around the house or in your neighborhood while you go for a walk. Um, if you saw some of the other things on there, that you can listen to a phone ringing on your cell phone or the TV or people singing. Um, so this is going to be a fun little game. Um, I hope y'all are doing well. It was good to see y'all. Have a great week. Talk to you later. Bye.